through. Uh, they're they're about 15 minutes each, so I'm going to combine those. But then I recorded a little bit more, so I had about 40 something uh, minutes worth of time uh, total along all of the recordings for this session. And so I'm going to kind of try and split it into two episodes, hopefully. Um, so if there seems a little bit off, that's kind of wise because uh, they're meant to go right behind each other, but they're not going to be because of timing. So please enjoy this section of Skyblock 3, Xanda's Skyblock 3 Departed. And we're back, everyone. Um, so I went ahead and off camera, I uh, killed a couple things, uh, got some more cobblestone, and got a couple of loot bags to open. So I got a stone pickaxe head. We're going to go ahead and actually upgrade our wooden pickaxe head, or pick, with this. If you go ahead and put it inside, we'll go ahead and upgrade it. It'll increase the speed and everything like that. I think that's the best we can do right now for, you know, cobble gen, as it were. Um, let's go ahead and open these loot bags. Black quartz, okay. Ancient tome lure. I think that's a, I think that's a fishing. It might be a fishing, um, enchantment. Got torches and more rails. Cool. How about the epic one? Oh, bat wing. Okay. Uh, whoa, wow. Angel heart veil. Uh, a vial. Looks like it'll resurrect you when you die. Hmm. That'll come in handy. Another bucket, which is awesome. A buried treasure map. Interesting. And some string. Hmm. Pretty lucky overall. Let's look at this buried measure. Buried treasure map. I've never... I'm not really sure what this is all about. I'll close this. Because I'm not really seeing anything drawn on here. I don't... I don't really know. Can we... Can we do anything with this? I'm honestly not entirely sure what we could do with that. In a normal Minecraft world, it might make sense, but in this particular instance, not so much. Alright, well... So we've got that set up. I uh, I did the the customization of these zo blocks, dropped them down as well. So that's all good. Put my crafting table here next to my chest behind. Um, yeah. Oh, let's make a let's make a regular um, regular thing thingamajigger. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you know. I need these back. A regular old thingy. You know, this thingy. Whatever this thing is called. The furnace, yeah, that one. So, if we... Can't we shift pick that up? No? Alright. Whatever. Can I... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It was close. Oh, well, we can. I just was doing it wrong. I think you have to have an empty hand. No? Okay. Apparently the dirt furnace is not... A tile entity. Cool. So now we've got a regular furnace, and it's not going to waste three per. It'll only waste one per. Super exciting about that. Cool. So let's look back in the quest book, see what we're at. Let's put these away. And the other drops. Dun dun dun. We'll put string in there for now. Arrows. Um, the rest can go in fancy stuff. And we should put our shards back over here, just to keep them handy, in case we need to make something. Awesome. I think we're doing pretty good so far. We've got our compressed cobblestone we can use. And we were going to, I think... I don't know what I said. So we're going to go ahead and do the grinder, because I know I was talking about that. But I know I needed to grab some cobblestone to do that. So let's grab that. Let's grab these tools. Or... The sticks, um, I think. So it, is it? Is it this? Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. Let's also make. Let's make ten of them. So, oop. so I need a couple more sticks. If we put these together. Put these together. There we go. 
So now we could do the compressed grind grinder. And bam. Now we've got both. Pretty sure that should complete it. Maybe. There we go. Awesome. Now we can do gravel. So if we take our cobblestone, you'll see, and we hit it with a grinder, bam, it makes gravel. We could do the same with a compressed. So if we put a compressed down and use the compressed grinder, bam, isn't that crazy? Let's open this chest. Oh, we got a pitcher plant. Those are kind of cool because you can go up to them with a bucket and get an infinite source of water. So another good way of having an infinite source maybe in one block, we could do that. We'll go ahead and put it in here because we've got an infinite source. Um, so we've got our gravel. Let's go ahead and claim that. And then sand. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing with sand but with gravel. So let's make it compressed. And then if we do the compressed, compressed grinder, bam. We got this plus we got some flint. Isn't that awesome? Ta da! I'm gonna go ahead and claim it. And then, where does it take us? So, it looks like we're gonna go to Lemmy Smash. And stone combustion is next. And then fishing for saplings, which I'll probably do that off camera in between sessions. Okay, enriched bone meal. And oh my gosh, we got a pirate hat and an eye patch. So awesome. <laughs> me hearty. Me captain. Oh, it's a hat. Yeah, I don't need the iron hat. Oh, that's so much better. Let's put that away. Let's put that in there. And the flint. Cool. And we've got some sand. Also awesome. So I've been putting my tools away in here for now. Just to get them out of my hands and keep my inventory as organized as possible for you guys. I know some people would freak out when uh, it, your inventory is cluttered, your storage is cluttered. It, it's chaos. So... For making your first plates, you're going to need a stone hammer and a crushing table. Uh, simply put an ingot on the crushing table and hit it with a hammer. Okay, so have we gotten to that point yet where we're making ingots? I think we might want to do stone combustion first. Because we're not even to the ingots part yet. So let's go ahead and make some stone, which we need cobblestone for. So we've only got three, so I might have to do some mining off camera. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. I've got some stone cooked up now. Um, I, we, you see, I, uh, I've set it up here, so I've got the stone gear, and now we can actually go ahead and uh, we're gonna actually make this component too. Um, I was making the casing first though, so we put this in there. I think we just do eight blocks. Cool, stone casing. Now, as you see, it tells you in the book a little bit a, lot, a, a little about the combustion chamber and how it all works. But basically, when you've got, I think, a new casing, it increases your efficiency of whatever you're using. So it'll increase the efficiency of whatever fuel you're using. Um, and then it also will increase the max HU you can use to 600, at least on this one. Uh, when we go up to like bronze casing and stuff like that, it'll increase the HU even higher. Um... So meanwhile, I am cooking up some more stone so we can make the other part of this, the combustion chamber. So I also grabbed a piece of gunpowder here so we can make the stone heating component. And then we don't quite have enough, so we still need about six more, I think, of the stone. Ooh, what a problem. Let's go mo uh, kill some mobs while we wait. La, 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 la. Ooh, he did see me. That's fun. So in order to disable them to be able to see anything, we're going to probably need to cover up those holes. So we'll probably do that in a little while. Got a common loot bag. Ooh, melon seeds. Cool. We also got some mana steel. 
And then we got a friend or pearl, uh, another gem of some sort. Oh my gosh, some more of those angel heart vials that resurrect you. That's crazy. Wow. We also got a golden apple, so that's interesting. Wow, look how far that arrow made it. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. So we got a friend or pearl, rot flesh, ender fragment, bone, arrow. Cool. Put this other stuff up here. Go ahead and put that, that. Uh, let's put the mana steel in there. And those. I'm gonna take the melon seeds and put them somewhere else. And put them in this chest here. The growy chest. Patent pending. Growy chest. Um stone is done, I think. Cool. Click we have just enough to make the combustion chamber. And you'll see on this tooltip as well, um, it increases the speed in which it will uh, process. Also increase the efficiency, so your furnace fuel will last for 0.12 ticks and 8 HU a tick. So that's pretty cool. You can also complete the quest. Yay. And that'll unlock some other stuff like basic alchemy and the freezer and life infusion. And let me smash. So I think we're going to go down for the uh, alchemy alchemy thing here. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Let me go ahead and break this. We're going to have to change this multi-block a little bit as well. Yeah, so you'll see here it says speed 40%, efficiency 50%, and fuel lasts for 0 0.12 ticks and 4 HU a tick. Then you'll see that this one is 12 uh, okay, so it looks like the fuel burns for the same amount, but it's a little bit more efficient about it, and it's a lot faster. Oh, okay, well, it's a lot faster and a lot more efficient. Either way, that's really awesome. And then we've got more efficiency on the stone casing as well. So that's going to make things super awesome. So we put this in there and put our button back. You'll see now we've got uh, 600 max. It's efficient and super speedy. But we're also going to have to replace these sides with uh, stone. It's so kindly daytime now. How wonderful. So, let's go ahead. Well, I'm okay with not getting all of those. But we're going to put the stone along the side here. And then we'll close the top with one, too. We'll maybe need to make a slab. Let's make some cobblestone slabs. Let's go ahead and... I'm actually just going to... Let me do this. Bam. Cool. So now, if we just do this, this... Okay, well, that's the danger of grave-clicking slabs near your house. I guess it was a little bit too close. Hmm. Well, we'll repair that off camera in just a second. Let's go ahead and fix our slab here, here, and here. And now we should be able to do it pretty easily. Cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and fix this off camera, and I'll be right back. Hey, everyone, we're back. All right, so we are cooking up some stone now. Um wasn't quite sure where I left off, but... Oh, we got lime luminous blocks. These are kind of cool. They don't actually put off light, though. Um, but, I mean, they kind of look cool. They're super bright. I don't know. Maybe we'll find a use for them later down the road when we've got something more cosmetic to do. Um, but I'm cooking up some stone for our next project. So what I've been looking at is trying to see kind of where we go next. Uh, looks like we're going to probably want to go from the stone uh, combustion. We're going to want to go into our basic alchemy, which uh, that will get us into uh, what is required to start getting iron and stuff like that. So see, uh, let me smash is there. And then uh, this requires conden condensation. And then this one is let me smash an iron. So condensation is what we need for that, and for that we need basic alchemy. So to start off with the alchemy part of uh, Sky Resources, we're going to need to make the alchemical fusion table. So we have to make that with the Primus alchemical dust. For it to work however, you're going to need uh, that. So we need the 
Primus, Primus Alchemy stuff. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So we need charcoal, gunpowder, and blaze powder. So we've got gunpowder here. And I don't know if we have any blaze powder. I think we do. Yeah, we have tons. And then we need some charcoal. So I'm going to take that stuff out of there. And then I'm going to oops, put some put some wood in there. Let's go ahead and make some charcoal. So let's set this up so we can make the um, al alchemy table, right? So we need to make one of these guys. So we're gonna need to put stone around. That way, once we get it figured out, let's take our cobblestone. We're going to put it right here. And we need something to burn. So let's uh, let's take some more of that charcoal. Let's put some in there. And then we're going to throw in the charcoal, blaze powder, gunpowder. Oh, I missed gunpowder. Combust. Does it have to be exact? I think it might have to be exact. So we need one, two, three, I think. One, two, three. Put that away. Bam. Yay! It worked. Now well, we can at least do it one more time. One. So one, two, three. Hey, I forgot to do the boom. Boom. You got any more charcoal in there? You sure do. So let's put another one in there. And let's go ahead and do one. Two, three. One, two, three. Bam. Cool. I think that's it we can do for now. Let's go ahead and break these other ones down and turn them into tiny charcoal. So we can refuel this. And get some more stone cooking. Cool. So we've got our Alchemy Primus stuff. We've made this. And now we utilize this with some wood or some stone to make the condenser. And let's go ahead and make it with wood for now. And now we've got our Alchemy Fusion Table. Awesome. So this stuff is really cool, so we'll be able to put this in here, and we'll be able to make stuff with it. Alright, so you'll see now we made the Alchemy Fusion Table, and go ahead and claim that. Now that we've got that unlocked, it's going to allow us to get the condensation. So if we make the stone casing, stone condenser, and a two fluid droppers. So let's use this to make another stone component. And we use that to make a condenser. Cool. So we're going to need some more of that stone. That's why we've got this cooking up. I think I'm going to still need even more, though. Miscalculated. Just a hair. So um, we need to make a stone gear. Let's go ahead and do this. You can't upgrade these, can you? Nah. Nah. So we're going to take wooden gear, stone, Stone gear. And then we're going to need to get some more stone, I think. Let's put this up. Put this away. We've got our loot chest. And we got some mineral torches. Cool. I'm not entirely sure if those put off light. I think they do. Hopefully they do. Rawr. So 
sweet. Did we get everything? I really gotta like find a way of getting up on the roof so we can now for certain. Or maybe just extend the platform out so I can be a little careful. A little less careful. I'm having a little server lag there. If you could see that. I'll go ahead and put this stuff up. Cool. And then let's see. We've got our condenser. We need to make our frame. There's the frame. So we need one more, one more stone. Cool. Let's go ahead and make this frame. There it is. Awesome. So we've got our frame here and our condenser. So let's go ahead and let's just pop it right here for now. We'll put our thing in it. Let's grab some wood planks. We might want to extend this out a little. Awesome. It's looking good. And then I think we might need to put something on top. So if we were to let's grab this stone just in case we need it. So we need to make Oh crap, I have to pick this back up. If it ends up it needs it to for the quest. Okay, well, I'm going to keep them in my inventory, I guess, until I make the fluid droppers. So where's the fluid dropper? So it's just cobblestone. Okay, easy enough. So cobblestone. So, like this. Now, I haven't quite set this up yet i'm not sure exactly how it works with the um, condenser yet so in order to make ingots you're going to need a setup of condensation you can see how to make the most basic of setups in the sky resources guide on the metal creation page keep in mind that the bottom block can be any inventory such as a chest okay so we're going to definitely need a chest under this thing good to know can we Oh, I see we broke our sword. Is it broken or is it not? I don't know if it is or not. Next swing it might be broken. So is there any way we can... I want to bring that. I want to extend that out. Because I think... Can we put a ch chest there? I don't know if I have one readily available. Just like this. Oh, I forgot I could do that too. <laughs> so if we put this here, yeah, it does work like that. Cool. So then we can put that back and we can have this open. Cool. So we pop that there, pop that there. Let me let me look this up in the guide. Let's see. So the fluid dropper will Pull fluids from tanks next to it and place the source below it when it has one bucket. This is useful for automating the output of the crucible. Okay, that's fair. So is there is there a metal? Me metal creation. Metal creation process provides you with ingots and ores. This guide will give you a basic early game setup of creating ingots. Expanding to more advanced and powerful subs will be benefit greatly. Uh, you do not have to use the same variant of machines that are used in a setup shown, but basic setup is an alchemy table, a crucible, two fluid droppers, and a condensator with a casing. View setup here. So I guess that's a chest. Can we shift that? Okay, so it's got casing, dropper, dropper. Okay. 
So we've got our casing. That's where our condenser goes. This is above it. This is a fluid dropper and a fluid dropper on top of it. Because there has to be a torch underneath. That's why. I see. I'm going to drop a crystal shard, which is made with glass and the alchemy table. Okay. Okay. All right. So we need to make some glass. So I'm going to try and make this set up, and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So I've gotten it set up here. This is our <laughs> crazy setup that it explains in the book there, um, you know, where I had showed you earlier, I believe. So we've got our condenser on the bottom here. It's a stone casing with a condenser inside. Um, this is where you'll put the alchemy, which we're about to make the iron alchemy ore dust. We put a chest on the bottom, and that's where they'll automatically output. So on the top there, we've got the crucible right on top of a torch, which is right next to the fluid droppers. So this will take the fluid out of the crucible and drop it one down. This will drop it down one more into right above the condenser. This is where we'll get up to uh, throw those um, shards in, which I've actually made a ton of in here. So the last thing that really needs to be done is that we just need to make the iron ore powder. So if we put our Primus stuff in here, um, so it's going to make these last couple shards, we'll let it do that. And I think that, uh, that'll call it for us. At least I, I think so. At least once we get these iron, we can, uh, we'll call it there. So we're making crystal shards. Cool. So now that we've got that. Now, I believe what the recipe is, is if we put rotten flesh and blaze powder, it's going to automatically make our iron ore dust, or iron ore, alchemy iron ore, whatever it's called. The iron alchemical ore dust. That's the one. This one here. So now if we take this, from the way I understand how this works, let's go ahead and complete this quest. So now it says make an iron ingot. So if we take this in here, we smack it in there. Bam, look at it go. So it's going to create an iron ore, or should. Yeah, there it goes. Now it might create another one. I don't know how many it's going to be able to create. At least two. Maybe three? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, three. So it has just enough to make three from every one. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Cool. Great. Awesome. We got that working. Look at that. So now we've got our crucible almost empty. We've got that full, that full. Let's go ahead and dump a couple of these in there. Oh, I didn't mean to dump all that. I meant to just dump a couple of those in there. Well, it should melt down. And this is going to give us some more iron. So we've got our first iron ingots. Hey, good job. High five. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> so I think that uh, wraps up for today. Uh, I think we've done good here, made good progress, and uh, everything has looked pretty good so far. So uh, I guess if you like what you saw, go ahead and click subscribe, and you'll see any kind of content that I've got coming out. If you also would like to say something, go ahead and put it in the comments section below. Um, I'll have any kind of I'll have anything that like is important or anything to go in the description. This is really the worst outro I've ever done. It's all good, though. Hopefully you guys will understand. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.